Well, here it is, Halloween night, and there's a full moon, and a thunderstorm, and a power outage. We're all gonna fucking die, aren't we? Huh, probably just the wind, or the house settling, or something completely rational, and not the complete fucking obvious. Oh, here we are in the house of our dreams, at last. Oh, and it's, you know, nice and old, nice and grandiose, and uh, the history, no, didn't do any research into the history, or the neighbours, or whether or not you can hear a person scream from outside, or the cell reception, no. We just looked at it and thought, this looks white and middle class, fuck it, let's move in. Oh no, a fucking ghost, a slow moving, creepy ghost. Fuck the logical escape. I better go. Oh no! Oh god no! Oh no, step ghost, I fell and I can't get up. Please don't fuck me. So obviously the, uh, the sconces are turn of the century and uh, the staircase is all original wood. But, um, but yes, it's a lovely house for raising a family. It has a very large, spacious basement. <sighs> Yep, no, there's nothing wrong with it, nothing whatsoever. It's absolutely amazing. The last tenants moved out because it was too good for them, swear to God. Just be careful when you say that G word in this house. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna level with you. Um, this is kind of a cult place and there's been a lot of murders going on, like all that shit that you're dealing with. Mm, yeah, I kind of seen that myself as well, but hey, you signed on the dotted line, so I guess you're fucked, aren't you? Haha! This is day one of moving into our new house and documenting it for absolutely no fucking reason. Oh no, shit's scary. I can't even keep my hands still. There we go. No, no, I know some creepy shit has been going on, but it's okay. The sun is up, nothing ever happens in the daytime. We'll just go somewhere else at night, it's fine. Oh, what are you drawing, Billy? Oh, is that your imaginary friend, Mr. I'm going to fuck your face and murder your entire family? Oh, bless. What are kids like? Oh, they're so precious. Oh. Did you not have any coloured pencils? Did you have to draw it all? Oh, bless. Look. Now he's staring at the corner. Oh, they're so precious. Okay, guys, we all know that there is a masked, knife-wielding murderer in this abandoned high school. So I suggest in an effort of safety, we split up and go as far away from each other as possible. So far that if he was to violently murder you, no one else would hear your screams, okay? So you can go to the basement, um, you can go to the furnace room because every abandoned building has a creepy furnace room. Um, there's the exit. Let's all just stay the fuck away from that. Yeah, okay, cool, for reasons. Random loud noise! Oh my god, it's killed all my friends. But that, that means that I'm not gonna be scared anymore. And now I have the power, now, now that they're fucking dead, now I have the power to fucking face this axe-wielding murderer. And, well, escape. I mean, we've got to have a sequel, right? Can't kill him yet. It's a little bit creepy in this house. Just a little bit. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. No, 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 no. Where the fuck are you? The music's gone now, bitch. I know you're here somewhere. Ah, uh, yes. Little do you know, this haunting has gone back centuries. Back to the time of history and when it all started but it's been going on for years this cycle and the previous tenants they they were aware of what was going on but it's okay because now we can break this curse through this very simple means this incredibly simple thing that apparently nobody else has actually thought of in the past 600 years you're special we'll do this for you everybody starts the conversation like this Hey guys, you know we found that altar with what looked like a human heart covered in blood and hair and some weird claw marks that don't look like something of this earth? Well, there was this really weird like little tablet on it, but it's pretty fucking Gucci. Like, I like this aesthetic. Um, I could probably, you know, get like a chain, wear it like a medallion, you reckon? Yeah? Do you reckon I could pull it off? Like, it's definitely real. It's definitely real. So, 
yeah, that's that's definitely the sort of thing that I think I could, you know, keep in my house. It's yeah, that's beautiful, beautiful. Fuck the history. What the fuck was that? Strange noises in my house. It's more common than you think. Hmm. Probably shouldn't bother with the uh, the light switch. No, the dark is the best way to investigate this. Oh, fuck me, house, Jesus Christ. Hey there, not to worry, it's just your friendly neighbor doing what most human beings do and that sneak up on you with a very jarring shout. Look, I know that there's been a lot of creepy shit happen, okay? I know that Jessica lost all of her hair the other night. I know that you just keep seeing blood dripping down the walls, but no, we're not leaving this house. We're not letting all of this supernatural shit scare us out of here. Clearly not. And yeah, I get it, Derek's going a little bit psycho, but it's fine. Just, he's gonna prepare dinner for us and, well, it's only gonna be the few of us because, you know, Margot has disappeared, but, uh, mm, something smells like burning meat. It's, is that, is that supposed to be the, could we not get someone with like practical effects knowledge or something? I mean, I've taken shits that are scarier looking than that. What, what is this, amateur hour at Buffy the Vampire Slayer? There's just so much creepy shit going on in this house. It's such a mystery. Hmm, I better do some research on it. Okay, everything's available on totallynotgoogle.com. Your house is haunted because some creepy bitch used to live here and killed a bunch of people and hid them in the floorboards. No, not, not that one. The other floorboards. Yeah. That's right. Are they watching me or something? Uh, here's the complete and utter history of the house because we don't have the storytelling skills to deliver this information in a natural way. Well, at least they're honest. So we're just giving up for the scene where obviously the arm gets completely fucking mutilated. So if we could just bring in the steak, the sausages, and the 42 gallons of fake blood, yeah? Hey there, did you call for some paranormal investigators? Yes, we are local college students who are working in the AV club and have worked together the typical sort of temperature gauges, EMF sensors, you know, we have cameras, we have alarms, and you know, we've all seen that paranormal activity film. Well, don't worry, we'll put cameras up all over the place, we'll get some shots that just completely rip that off as well. So you mean to tell me that this is a conspiracy, that people have been going through this for years, and this, this cult, this organization has been doing it to all of us, and, but what for, and why? Oh, right, of course, sequel. You know what would be a really good idea? You know? you know? You know what would be a fantastic idea? So, you know how we've had this, like, demon threatening to, you know, skull fuck us in our sleep and everything? Why don't we get aboard? set up some candles and some like pentagrams and shit and let's try and fucking talk to the guy yeah that sounds like a party idea yes he is a demonic hell beast from an entire other plane of existence but uh let's chat to him and see if a simple conversation could convince him to fuck off so you mean to tell me that this cult has been operating under the radar for years and they've been targeting so many different people for different reasons for some nefarious end Wait, what? They're, they're behind this door? All of the answers are behind this door? Well, despite the fact I've held onto this camera for the entire movie, I feel like it's only right that I, I put it down at a weird sort of angle, so you sort of see the door, and then... Oh my god. It all makes so much sense to me and not the audience. There's seriously no one else seeing this shit. There's literally a guy hanging in the corner, like making the throat cutting gesture at all of you. Really? No, don't tell me to shut up. I'm trying to fucking warn you, okay? No, like, fuck it. Die then, I guess. <laughs> Turns out it wasn't my uncle, it was actually an alien probe. Huh, <laughs> weird. Why are they such bastards? Okay, I'm home alone, and now I'm hearing someone walking. Well, fuck it, it's probably innocent, so there's no reason to get a weapon or phone the police or even a torch. Hello? Is that a murderer up there? 
Welcome guys to my totally logical urban exploring channel. We're going to go and investigate some amazing places like, you know, haunted, abandoned cemeteries, tombs, secret basements under the place. If you know somewhere where children have been sacrificed, hit us up because that is totally the sort of place that we're going to want to explore at 2 fucking a.m. The power of Christ compels you. Now he's possessed. I don't, no, that is not a normal tantrum. Most kids are not bleeding from the fucking gums, okay? No, I, I'm not looking to save him. I just want him out of the fucking house. Get the fuck out, you little shit. Oh my God, this is, this is horrible. This is where it happened. The entire village was burnt alive here for no reason. Women and children just screaming to try and end the pain. It's horrible. But I do need a ship. And that was a long time ago, so, yeah, out the way, bones. Yeah, the pentagrams I could take and, you know, all the satanic messages, I suppose, you know, religious freedom, you do you, fam, but... Animal sacrifice? Yeah, you fuckers are on your own with that one, okay? Yo, let me take a selfie with this fucking corpse, yeah? Ah. <sighs> We're finally free, the curse is broken, and we can enjoy this house, despite all of the traumatizing shit that's happened within it. Now it's just time for me to put this camera down and finish the film happy and smiley, because there's nothing wrong, right?